Well, it's time to do the main story. Is it the main story? No, I think it's just an interlude thing also. Oh, Act 3, 6. Chapter 3, Act 6. So, actually, a lot of things for this one. Okay. It's night? Huh? Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Who's asking? <laughs> you need something from us? Come on, Paimon. You bet I do. <laughs> so, very I rude there. Be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another outlander. He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. Yep. So, um, what address did that person give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> Next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> and if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Oh my. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. I definitely prefer, was it, her more deeper voice in the beginning. Because I think you're still near the beginning, so you can definitely tell that difference with her voice right now, since I'm playing this, compared to at least what you can hear. But you definitely see her shifting tone, I guess. Great. Well, let me see this letter. Of course. Here it is. All yours. Come on. Hyman wants to have a look too. It's been a while. Your body. Sh <laughs> I just skimmed all the way to the bottom. Kaya. It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Smyrna, and I happen to be in Port almost on official business. I think I've been stung by Jafar. Tefan. For a drink or two every afternoon. The dogs on my side and desire successfully reaches you. Come to me then, and we can catch up on all times. We'll see you as a fated encounter. Your bus your trusty buddy Kaya. Kaya, huh? Kaya. <laughs> So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. This is definitely Kaya style. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. <sighs> Do you think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Well, no, I'm done. It'd be nice to catch up with him. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Okay. I just was to remove everything else so I can get the thumbnail, basically. Because I usually use those things. They're easy enough, I'd, I'd say. Oh wait, I have to wait! Okay then, let's wait. 16. Kaya should be at Jafar Tavern right now! Let's go see him! Ah, there he is. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the bill please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> if you say so, we will see you too. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Uh-huh. Very, very believable. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry. Oh, of course. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And? How did that go? 
So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> hey! Using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nightly, Captain! I'm guessing you've been to Sumeria before. Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Sumeria all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. <laughs> Flashback. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry about it. You don't have to go into great detail. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground somewhere near Sumeru. Conria? And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Speaking of Conria, how much do you know about it? We're getting a lot of lore now, compared to before. Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. Oh my gosh, Dane. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. A happy life sounds good to me, of course, even if it means being cut off from certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Alberich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Sorry about that. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albury? Every time we see Dainsleep, it's usually lore bombs. <laughs> Dainsleep? So this should be interesting. Uh, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsleep, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Albury. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. <gasps> Wait. Huh? <gasps> Shock face. The Abyss Order. What? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? 
Hey, hold on now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess this damage part is for sure. Serious. This is and way later is in your story, I guess. That. Hopefully, you're fine with this it. Sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. I think, I guess. I trust you, Kaya. Anyway, looks like we're out of time. What's up? I've got a spice merchant <laughs> to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Uh, well, alright then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Danesliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. It depends from person to person, I'm pretty sure. I thought my sibling was the founder. Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince. Precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? So what do you plan to do here in Sumeru? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. You got a new lead? It's been such a long time, so I probably don't remember it. Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. All the way back then? Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that he mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order? No, it's just, I'm still waiting for my drink. I mean, we're already here, so might as well have a drink. What? Far away. Where is it? Oh, near the beginning. Oh, never mind, it's up here. Wait. This place, it's familiar. What's up? Pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. If you say so. Well, uh... You lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> Let's go. If she ever... If he ever becomes a playable character, I think everyone's gonna try to get him. Dane, at least. It's covered.
But this is the first. Oh, so there really isn't anyone home. Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single thing. Did just turn morning? Yes, it did. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. <laughs> Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. You sure are going places with your paranoia. Let's go. Huh? A mirror. A mirror. It's broken too. Was this a makeup box? It's just a regular mirror. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. Is there anything else in the bed? Okay, nice. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Okay, so I guess that box is the only thing important here. So far, hey, at least. Look, it's a bowl. Guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Oh, what's that Can't called? You smell it. There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Recent? Oh, so it's a medicine bowl? <laughs> hmm. Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. Yeah, I think I was. But I think I'll try to finish this in one stream, so you might be able to come back in. Hmm. I, I might still be on later, so. Let's go and check. Hopefully, it's still good for you. It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Uh, thank you, anyway, for catching up. Hopefully, the story will be good for you. Now, so you'll be able to, uh, was it, see the father anyway, once it's up. Once it's up, I'd say. I'd say. <laughs> What's this? Monsters? Wow. Dane's ears are sharp, just like his nose. He's surprisingly good shape for a 500 year old. Although, for someone who's as full of surprises as Dane, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's beat him. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You what? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are banal. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Well, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat! All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Look alive! <laughs> Still there. <sighs> Your cooking is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> You're easy to face. Well, free loading comes more naturally to you than most. Changing the subject. <laughs> it's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Baima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Yep. Um, so... Don't take this the wrong way or anything, but, uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? You make my day every day, Paimon. Oh, you stop <laughs> it. Now you're embarrassing Paimon. <laughs> I like this voice. 
like mine's like um, this. Next question. I'd say it's not too high pitched. I don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your brother? No idea. <laughs> Flashback. The stars? We gaze at the stars just like this, and we visit and we point at the plants we wanted to visit. Wow. We travel through to the universe always by each other's side. We also matter of hope and despair. This is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Yeah. Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why. It's just terrible. But we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. Uh, you know what? We've talked too long about this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead. Because if you're sad, Paimon will be too. Thank you, Paimon. Alright, alright. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Well, this is the first. Paimon, not going to bed before me. Oh, come on! Don't say that! Paimon just wants to look after you for once. Alright. Good night then, Paimon. Nighty night. Go on, chew. <laughs> sure. Hey. Time to wake up. The sun has risen. Did we really sleep in here instead of the bed? Dang. A deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Alright. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Okay, it's not we it's been a while since we've heard her voice. Yeah, where's Paimon? Oh, Alright, the case looks like it's just me here for now. Guess it's time to stretch my list and have a look around. Wait, did that noise come from inside the house? Paimon, is that you? No reply. Oh, probably a new part of the whole thing. Halt! What do you think you're doing? You started me. This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my That's an business. interesting... Be gone! Uniform? I'm only here to look for my traveling your companion. Travel companion? You mean the one and your eyes? You're Demi Carrion. <laughs> your companion departed for the forest early this morning. That much I saw with my own eyes. Why? You were nearby last night. What business is that of yours? Hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first, and what I do here is none of your concern. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Stab. Yeah, there's something strange about him. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't think I have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that voice. I've been observing you, and you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. Same to you. I'm warning you, no funny business. Promise me that. And you can do as you please. <laughs> I'm no villain, nor will I pretend to be a saint. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. May I join you? I was out here all night. I'm cold. You. 
Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Relax, I've been around. It takes a lot to face me. Come on then. Transition. Is it true? A hydro? Why do you keep a hydro at home? Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a, a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired or cold. You're from Conria, aren't you? Huh? You know Conria? Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? I've met others from Conria. Your clothes, your eyes. <sighs> do you worship a god, traveler? I follow no god. In fact, I could, I could, I count some of them as my foes. I follow no god. Do I count some of them as my friends? Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> um, my name is Ida. And Ida. you are correct, I was once Conrian. Uh, oh, I, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far oh, as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. Interesting. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. Yeah, it sounds like a little too black and white. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. What is the curse of immortality exactly? The curse. <laughs> it was a little... Gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. I still really like his voice. He's like, we that may a change of pace compared to the others. Our loved ones. Everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear. But then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. So Ida is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So why did some people turn into the Hydras while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. When the Cataclysm came, we pure-blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be son or daughter. Them into monsters. So who is this hurly to you? He is Kari Bear. My ah. Illegitimate son. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> Can say that out loud with no consequence now, but oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. And then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but. That mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear 
faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. And after all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What are you going to use this for? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Karibar here to Sumeru. Yep. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Recover the, his clarity of mind? Yeah. I do not. He's probably trying to find a way to at least. break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. Yeah. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. Oh. <laughs> I believe that it might just work. <laughs> Where did you hear of this? I read about it in a book <laughs> from the royal the giggles are making me uncomfortable it was banned <laughs> i mean since this medicine requires the power of the seven to work in my youth i i disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. You know, there must have been a reason it was banned. <sighs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do, huh? The gods have already punished us. What does one more uh, matter now? I understand. No matter what, you have to try. Never mind. As, uh, long as you it's more like going off the deep end. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> yeah. It's more like if you've already done it once, then it's like, what's the point? You you, can, you might as well just do it again and again. I think that's what he's going at it. As it happens, I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, oh thanks to this curse of immortality. <laughs> okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. What's that? A mushroom? I've never seen ki- I've never seen a mushroom of this kind before. Uh, also, uh, do you have any? Uh, oh, of, uh, I have a lot of those. Sumeru's regional specialties on hand. Oh, I there's some there. Okay. Lotuses and Sumeru roses. I picked some before. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Oh, in, in that I actually wonder if it, what would happen if I never picked some of them. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. How long is staying in time and taking? Strange mushroom. There's one here, and then there's one over here. Where's the sparkling? What do we have to make? The name is Taboo Medicine of the Royal Card. The smell just stinks your nose and would not easily fade. According to the records, this medicine requires the power of the god of wisdom to awaken the adult mind. Perhaps it might be able to resist the curse. Can mushrooms really grow in a field like this? Interesting. Let's go. I like how it's also Naida. Well, the word Naida is like my main person right now. The sickness unto near death. Is it done? Oh, splendid! Let me see! Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the banned book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> well, 
the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Is it time to give Gabriel a message? No, no. What's up? We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. Was it? I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for Do its we need effects. to get her? Which means we Ouch. must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. That can't be easy for someone. That can't be easy for someone from Calandria. Sissies. Yeah, that's true, but her knowledge would be really Let's useful go. in this case. Bring the medicine with you. Okay, let's see what happens. What do we reckon? Just teleport there. <laughs> Your special story mode? Sure, I can't do anything. That's what it. There's no option for co op. Okay. Oh, you're here already? Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom! Look at me! I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he... Here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already. God oh, of wisdom. Sorry about that. I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. My son, Carabere. Bear. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. <laughs> if everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. I have given up all I ever stood for. I actually thought he was gonna like kneel. All I ask is for a tiny mirror. I don't think they have the animation for that. <laughs> Carabere, to see this world once more. Please, God. I beg of you. I may not know the whole tribute and the calculus, but the people of Kanria have truly suffered. Why could Kanria and the seven and the seven not coexist in peace? That is true, we don't know why. I oh, we know it's the war. Have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Things will get better, hopefully. <laughs> oh come on, just disappear. Should be there. Hopefully, I see him, and I should be far enough so I can scan him. <laughs> Are you? Are you? You're inside. Come on, damn it! Yeah, he's. Okay, sure. Okay, what happens now? Almost lifeless. He's incredibly weak. We've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. Okay. It's a newly made medicine to the hydro. What's it? Where's his mouth anyway? Where's its mouth? It's your father, Cory Bear. Anything? Cory Bear. Please, say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Karibir? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Cory Bear. Forgive me. Please say something, anything. Please, please. Ida, stop. <laughs> oh, gods above! What more do you want from me? Everything. You took <laughs> everything from here, and I still 
bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. <laughs> I knew it. This is definitely one of the better NPCs for sure. Anything that had to do with the guards, I was <laughs> just eluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Calm down, Ida. There might be others with reasons uh, it did work. Reasons. Such as, who knows, maybe perhaps the dosage was too low, or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. Oh, you, uh, you really think so? You have to exhaust all options on this, you are ready to give up on Kaiba. Give up? No, no, n never. And y yes, you're right, I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for 50 years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. That's a spirit. Yep. That is true. Let's go. We'll make another dose. You have more, have more dose mushrooms? The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things... <laughs> Complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. Where did you get those mushrooms from, anyway? I oh. grow them <laughs> in that field. Wait, in a field? The crop? The details don't matter, right? <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. <laughs> if you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. I. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. Pacific. I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Got it. Good. Then and please head over when the time comes. Can I scan you? Oh, sure. I see everything. Wait, I can't see. Really now. Nothing. Ah, you're back. Uh, uh, Bear's condition is stable. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Sucks. Anyway, give me the water. A very specific time of water. I need you to stand guard here for uh, uh. a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Your secret is safe with me. Ah, good. Uh, to be, be fair, <laughs> the fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. Or to be fair, for secrets for me, I keep them. And then I just forget them, so they're just basically gone. <laughs> I just don't remember them after a while. Hey! Yeah, better defend them off. What happened? Was it monsters? Oh, thank goodness you were here. I. Couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so let's get on with it. Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Hm? What's that? Yes, synthesize some more. Which I honestly don't think it will work for sure. Hmm. Hey, there. I did. Does medicine's ready? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. 
If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. You still care about <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you for your help once again. And now for the final step. <laughs> Back again. Back to the statue of the seven. To your mortal enemy. Oh, it's sunset. Let's go. What do you have to say? We're here. Let's begin. Is it true? Wait a moment. Hey. Wait. What was that? Cory Bear. What? He left the house? Oh no. He didn't have the he thing on his hand. While we were too busy yeah, preparing the medicine to notice. Come on. We have to catch up with him. How? A lamenter at the fate's end. Interesting. It's been a while since I've been to this place. Oh yeah, look, you can even see it in the map. It's like that we're not supposed to go to the D-way. Yeah, it doesn't have it on his head. So he doesn't have the scarf. That's, that's not Cory Bear. There's no silk scarf around his arm. Oh, right. And Cory Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. My my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> this decrepit body of mine. Still, it is her draw. There's something strange about it. Oh, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? Let's go have a look. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about Hilly Churls, the better. Let's go. Did it go in here? Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. Let's see. Cinematic? If it's cinematic, I'm gonna cut myself off because I wanna get pictures. What a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Look, what are those villagers doing? Huh. It looks like they're... Uh, Worshipping. Sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Oh, there's only one way to find out. You're really familiar. Okay. Oh my god. Not really what I wanted. I didn't want it. I just wanted to see if the, if it's scanning would, would be fine. Ah, interesting. We're probably gonna make a loop back. What the hell is this? this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? It's been a while since we've heard your voice. Yeah, I might as well just get... Oh, come on, okay. I, I should have brought the, the mean. Oh well. I'm not sure how you can see that because it's being blocked. Yeah, what's this? I don't want to hit them or anything. Hope you're having a good time here, you so Hopefully, I chill time, I guess. I'm trying to complete this whole thing in one day, basically one stream, huh? just like before. How did I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down or? 
gravity itself? <laughs> we barely hear our main character's voice, so it's not a surprise for sure. How am I? I'm good. How about you? Having a swell time and just chill. Just learning things. Okay, now I guess I have to go back. Oh, that's three now. Oh, I'm back here. Yeah! It seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. Oh, open door. Let's go. We're, we're right now in the latest part of the story, anyway. Seeing what's happening right now. Right now we don't have Pyman or Dane Sleep, so yeah. Okay. Okay, we just went back to the beginning. Go here just in case. A herald. Halt, humans! Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. And the best herald? <sighs> Do you insist on an audience? Very well. Then I grant you the trial of destiny. Okay, sure. Frost, okay, frosty one. Let's dance. Power the engine height. Germinate. Just buckle up. Scatter. You're so far away. Propagate. Scatter. You're back into the corner. There it is, fine. Ugh. I needed much more powerful fire people, I he guess, was, to help Dea. He was. I've seen similar characters before. He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. Huh? He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you were able to defeat him. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> I just have lots of combat experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and more excited. <laughs> Let's go. I think we've made it to the end. What is that thing? We have the chains hanging there, and we're making Simmons Darla? A defiled statue? Really? So it does have something to do with the Abyss Order? Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Such a long time ago. Ida, this place is bad news. We gotta go. Ida? Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? Or for a power that you covet? Whose voice is that? It must have been coming from right inside my head. Can't Ida hear it? Oh, dear creature. Oh. Why do you bow down? I'm trying to just listen to the voices. Try and guess. A sinner. You are like a flower, born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. 
You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. Go forth, become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time, as I gaze back upon your life. The voice is gone. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely the longest time since, was it? We've had Paimon with us. Oh no, what's happening? Huh? I did? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> when I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. Are you alright now? I am. I feel uh, good. In fact, I, I I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar! How are you feeling euphoric? Oh, uh, is that so? All right, as you wish. Okay. Oh, that's it. Hopefully, we get to meet up with Paimon, or was it? Dane's leaf. It's been such a long time. We also met Kaya in the beginning, but he's gone right now. I read this for a spice trading. Oh, Kari Bear! Oh, thank goodness! He's still okay! Why are we back here? Don't we still need to go to the Statue of the Seven? I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen. Right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. <laughs> you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. That sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist... Well, I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I, I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> True. Curry bear. Oh my, we're hearing the voice. Papa. Oh my. Curry bear. Oh my goodness, it worked. It's a miracle. Oh, oh Curry bear, my dear son. I can't believe it. You see, it worked. Curry bear can speak again. Where's Mama? She's dead. Mama is... Uh, Cory Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? Of course. You're Papa. <laughs> salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is... This is what this feeling is. How, how do you feel, Cory Bear? Uh, are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. Huh. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Uh, wait. <gasps> My body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Papa? What's happened to me? Uh, it, it, don't panic, son. It's just... Uh, while you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, but, but... Do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more... End of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I... dead? No, 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 of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? 
Yes. Really. You've only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh! And, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Understand? Whatever happens, oh, yeah, we you never really figure out what's under the mask. It off. Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. But that's gonna be bad because kids are curious in general. They're gonna try some things out, even if you say Not don't do since it. Since that day, have I been so glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I I even worshipped at one of their statues like a like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. What? I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave. Oh, now that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power, it was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Surely that, that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they uh, do something to show their devotion? Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. Well, I do. That was not a god. That was a sinner. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You, you don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? It's like a cult. You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never! He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous! No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. You fine, go ahead. Not that I think it was perfectly stable to begin with, but with this we just remember something else. I guess I better catch up with him. Anyway, there are monsters everywhere and I can't stop by and then uh, fall into their hands. Where the hell is Paimon? <laughs> Where are they? Ever since we reached this part we haven't seen them at all. No one's there. It's gone. Where did it go? No, impossible. What happened? It's gone. The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared too. What was it? All an illusion. We could have both seen the exact same illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that. Awesome and wonderful. Awesome. Flowing through my mind and body. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for I just really like Traveler's face is strange spots. I believe that someday in the future we shall see it again. That you're turning to see that could he really have been a sinner and not a god okay well it's now Kari bear where has he gone uh oh oh no 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 maybe someone else came by and found him no no, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break-in and, and no sign of anyone having been here. But why? This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or a Mirror. an adventurer in his current state? That he'd... There's no time to lose. 
Wait a minute. This isn't how we left. Yeah, it was closed. Curiosity. Oh, no. Did he? The mirror is even. No, the mirror is down there. He probably saw it for sure. <gasps> the mirror, it's broken. But has the mirror been broken this whole time? What does the broken mirror mean? He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. If he'd just done as he was told, we have to find him. You know, kids aren't exactly like that. They're just curious. Outside? Okay. It's his scarf. He dropped it. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on. It's even raining. Cory Bear! Cory Bear! Where are you? Ooh. Interesting. Curses! Forest Rangers. Hey! Who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? Um, that's not a good a idea. Churl should have, uh, come past this way. <laughs> have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? I do. Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You... You... Forest Ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! Curse you all, forest rangers! Stop it, Ida. Stop, or there are forest rangers and I will have to make you. He's being driven into insa insanity. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You... He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, Forest Rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez, you're really not gonna let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. So I left it alone. That could well have been Hi Bear. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's let's go. Uh, we have to find him. Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info. Goodbye. Sorry. Standing on a cliff is really a bad spot. Cory Bear! We found him. Cory Bear, stop! It's me! It, it's Papa! Whatever you saw, it, it was... It was all a trick. An illusion. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Cory Bear, come back. Cory Bear? I messed up. I accidentally clicked my scene. Oh well. He's really apps. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He he must be able to hear me. Come, Curry Bear. We have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home. All right. Hold on. Something's not right with him. Papa. 
Corky Bear. Oh no. I can't take it. Please, Kari Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all. It's all too much. Papa. <gasps> Okay, that was just something, sure. <laughs> We're back here. I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> well then, did I faint? I recovered the game's max off, but then... Aha! Traveler! You're awake! Finally, we can rejoice together. Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some that face. time now. What do you mean true identity? <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. Wait. I had to talk to you to be sure. What's happening? Well, I've never met you. Of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberic. You can't be. Are you the father? You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us, Sinner. It was one and the same. Are you the latter father? <laughs> yeah. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. Let me to Kari Bear. That is no business of yours. A sinner. Yes, salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Karibert did not deserve his fate, but now... It's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become... The Loom of Fate. Here's that term again, the Loom of Fate. You're right about this being from the abyss, but the abyss is sinister and dangerous. Sinister? Dangerous? Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the abyss. How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. Hmm. To us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead? Oh, Prince of Conria. Prince? What did he just call me? Been a while since we heard your voice. <laughs> Interesting. What the hell is happening here? You're awake! Oh, thank goodness there they are. <laughs> Finally, we're back I here. I was worried sick! Uh, uh, traveler? Traveler? What happened while you were unconscious? I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. 
What did you witness? The founder of the Abyss Order, Alberich. What happened to him? You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the Abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. And despite that, my brother ultimately sided with him, didn't he? You could say that. He wouldn't be the Abyss Order's prince otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? I have a story to tell you. Hmm. So you saw his memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the Loom of Fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your brother never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder... Was that the moment that he decided to go down this path? I also wish that I could know what he thought about all of this. But one thing is clear, this was not a happy memory. Indeed. Clearly this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This... was where it all began. Oh, I almost forgot. There's something I need to check. What is it? I need to know what lies buried in this field. The field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. Let's go. You scared the duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? They're done, you can open your eyes now. A what was that? And female skeleton oh. Buried together. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? I think that belongs to the ma of the man. Belongs to Clotar Alberich. What? That's impossible. Unless... Clotar Alberich finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Perhaps he did. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. True. I need time to think. And to search my memories for some missing pieces. We should part ways here. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? I know, right? You could come with us, you know. So good wish you. It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who's he? You mean the voice I heard in some head? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity. But I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? It was just a memory. It all happened hundreds of years I in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? A sinner. Alright, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. <laughs> there goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, Paimon, and one more thing. What is it? I missed you. Huh? Oh, <laughs> so cute. Wait, that's it? Really now? That's it? That's all we get? Wow. Not that... For a chap... For a act of the chapter it's not that long actually but yeah i think we're just gonna end it here anyway finish story and then no events happening right now i'm very forming a bit so yep yeah. goodbye and i hope that you have a nice day hope that you have, that this was a chill stream <laughs>